So here we have an old skateboard ball bearing that barely spins anymore. So the first thing you do is take off the seal using a knife. Just carefully pry it up and out. And here you'll see the exposed ball bearings. And after flipping it over, take off the other side, which also holds the ball bearings in place. Now move the bearings onto one side to make it easier to take the bearing apart. Now just twist the inside ring a bit and it should all come apart easily. Now get a Q-tip and some WD-40 and spray just a little bit. And start cleaning all the parts. a lot of dirt clean the sides of the seal as well because uh, the seal does move Now this part's probably the most difficult to clean, but if you have a smaller Q-tip, um, it should be easier. Problem is that this plastic also snags the cotton on the Q-tip and kind of pulls it all apart. And it also sticks to that plastic because it has sharp pieces. And then this happens.
put all the ball bearings inside the inner ring so you don't lose them. And then continue cleaning the outer ring. A lot of dirt on this one as well. Also make sure to get the grooves where the seals go. It might be easier with a tissue and your fingernail than a Q-tip. Now as for cleaning the balls, um, just rub them in your fingers since they shouldn't contain any visible dirt particles on them and your fingers should already be kind of dirty from the WD-40 so that'll help clean them make sure there's no dirt on your workspace or threads of cotton from the q-tips that got snagged because you don't want anything in there when reassembling So reinsert the seal into the main outer ring and then place it on your workspace with the seal on the bottom. And once again try not to let the ball bearings get away. Put the inner ring in the center and just start putting the balls back, keeping it to one side to make it easier again. Now the last ball is of course the most difficult to fit, so it might take a couple of tries. You need to tilt the inner ring perfectly um, to get the last ball to fit without letting the other balls drop out. Even though the other seal is in place, if there's still a millimeter gap there, so if they uh, drop from the groove between the two rings, you're gonna have to do it all over again. This is probably the most difficult part, but again, it shouldn't take that long. If 
if you try to force it, you'll probably make the other ones pop out. So now that they're all in, um, they're still on one side, so use your knife to separate them back out. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, but try to get as close as possible because when you're going to be putting on the other plastic seal that also holds the bearings in place, you're going to want it aligned as, as well as possible so it snaps in because each of the balls goes into each of the plastic holders on the other seal. So if you have it aligned close enough, then this should just pop right in and align them perfectly. And that's it, it's done. It's spinning much better than before. And the more you keep spinning it, the better it seems to spin. Um, I'm guessing that the tiny amounts of WD-40 left on all the metal parts um, are getting spread out right now. So, and they're lubricating the inside of the ball bearing. So already it's spinning much better than it was right after I finished putting it back together. Make sure it spins evenly, there's no grain of dirt in there. It just keeps spinning faster and faster, and getting the WD-40 spread evenly between the balls and the rings. And there you have it, that's how you disassemble and clean a ball bearing.